Hello Dunamites, hello Christians, and hello followers of Being Real George. How are you doing? I hope you're doing good. Now today I'm on a very, very not too good mood, but I think everything happens for a reason. How are you doing? I hope you are doing good, I ask again. Um, pastor, doctor, medical doctor, na, uh, doctor of Jesus, any of them. Paul and H. how are you doing? I hope you are doing good. Um... You know, a lot of people have been asking because um, today we are discussing the reaction of uh, Dr. Paul Neche to the demise of Osinachi Mwachuku. Now, I made a video about this initially on George Vlogs where I discussed um, Fadoloma's reaction to her death and what he had to say about it. Now, I want to look at the Apex own reaction because she is a member of his church. In fact, they have sung together before and she's actually well known in the ministry. If you are watching me right now and you are a dynamite, because that is what your papa calls you people, you are about to receive a dynamite. And that is coming from me. Man, I can you know warning before, especially to those who are in the crew of the media team because I've noticed something about our respected men of can we clap for dr paul and nature because <laughs> clap for him clap for him he has um really really to a great extent showed us his level of sensitivity when it comes to issues about people that i should believe should be significant in his ministry as a man that is of god if he is of god i don't know right here on the platform if you are watching me for the first time we don't endorse anyone here we don't know who is real or fake we face the fact of a situation as we discuss them objectively okay so relax as we get on to the real reason why i click on my thumbnail to watch this video welcome back again and today we are about to really discuss something really interesting right here on the platform which concerns dr paul and nature now osina chuku based on news that came out on friday 8th of april 2022 was said to have died in the hospital after being admitted for days now look reading the news on sahara reporters towards the end of the news um posted there it was said that he is aware according to friends of her and even when i made a video about this before i was one I, I asked the question could he have been aware of such her going through such abuse as a wife of a deacon for that matter now people have said that the same deacon who is a husband that has been accused of molesting her for years not just this particular incident that led her to being in the hospital is her own manager in terms of her music and her career so every amount of money goes through him even the producer released their last chat conversation before these things happened or without before she died and then he talked about the fact that as you can see from see on the message on your screen here she said tell me how to go about it i want to do it without him knowing i have many songs i can come and we'll play some why is this why does she have to speak to him this way because she was going through some situations in her marriage and even the producer himself understood and knew about this and she was hoping that maybe some way somehow she was he was gonna um get to you know speak to um the the, the doctor himself about the situation which um some other people have released start conversations showing that in, indeed she was going through some form of domestic violence and um some people have come out to say again that she died of a cancer of the truth because i asked that question in my video before now people would say that she died in act of service because you have seen pastors or men of god die some some even collapse on the altar and they are gone but what killed her is not the reason why you know her if i ask you a question how do you know Ostinachi Mwachuku? you know her because of her song and the value she brought to the christian done with her music which cuts across as in people from different churches listen now i see it be, she belongs to dunamis what is the reaction of dr paul and to this particular issue right now it is shocking he was in cameroon as at when these things this happened why then cameroon i would say okay in cameroon okay in cameroon he's dead do he's there for service and it happened unannounced so it is not something you expect even people in cameroon may not have even known about who she is but we in nigeria know 
Ayungwa bundi east ayungwa. Yota kwa manambo, makambogu re kue me kue me ayungwa watarifu o minuru. We have to translate to you people what a kue me means. Uh, so if you are Yoruba, how are you doing? Now I've heard some people in my last video say that uh, Igbo men are wife beaters. It is so petty and stupid for people to open their vocal cavity and be saying that uh, Igbo men are serial beaters. When it comes to domestic violence, it doesn't cut out. It's not about tribe. Some people, it's not something you can even pray away because why I'm saying this is that, and I said it before, your, your, who you are married to is more important than the marriage you see. It is you are going through yourself. Today being the 10th of April, Sunday, as I'm making this video, I decided to leave my busy schedule of cooking my some towards meal. And as, in, uh, as I was cooking, I had to leave the kitchen and come and sit down here on my office. And I'm watching Dr. Paul Eneche preaching on Sunday, dancing his life. Oh my God. You know the way he danced? You jump from left to right. I said, Jesus, Jesus, I watched the whole Sunday service from beginning. Oh, and the title of the preaching was on faith. Oh my God. I'm going to play clips of that. Please, those of you that are working for his media team, don't attack this video because it's not something you would like to hear because don't know why I'm walk a premium dragon. Those who know me are gonna how far. When this thing happened, on the first Sunday, people are going to be waiting to hear you talk about this because now you are back home. You know, in a Nigerian one, ne? You know, in a Nigerian one, the doctor. Those of you that are members of that church watching now, do not mind. One and Kabuka dynamite. He stayed from the beginning of the service to the end. I watched it for over three hours here, cutting my pepper. And I watched the entire sermon and you did not open your vocal cavity and talk about her. And there's this thing in Pentecostal circles. So now that I announced in Amadi, only in the Catholic church that I hear someone died, they make an announcement. This person died up. The burial is this so, 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 so time. At least, why is it that Pentecostal churches, in the Pentecostal, except I, I stand to be corrected if you do that in your church. Many of them don't talk about that in their church. Is it what kind of who could ask Nara no dino de manankano nkabogo te kwaro? The apex of the ministry said nothing, and you were preaching on faith. Let me play some of the clips of the things you said, sir. When your faith is paralyzed, your inheritance in God can never be possessed. The meaning is. The limit of your faith is the limit of your inheritance. When we were looking for a place for the construction of this dome and for the rest of the things, the person we were talking with, he said, how many hectares are we looking for? I said, we are looking for so and so hectares. He said, I have 10 hectares. I said, that's too small. I have 24 hectares, 31 hectares. I said, that is too small. He told my wife, he said, excuse me, man. What did your gawan take plenty land do? <laughs> he couldn't imagine. He couldn't believe it. What did your gawan take plenty land do? I said, relax. You don't know anything here. We, as we are now, we are looking for 100 more hectares. At, at joining this for university. And I have good news for you. On Sunday, I told you that we are about to get, that we are trusting God that very soon approval for the construction of the overhead bridge right here will be given to us. And 48 hours later, the approval was in our hands. I prayed for somebody on the wheelchair and he woke up, stood up and, and walked. And one day I was praying for one on the wheelchair and he just stood there. And I said, do you want to walk? By yesterday morning, a man who had his testicle removed by surgery about seven years ago, in the course of the service, a new testicle appeared. See those crutches there. That is Douala, Cameroon. Not Lagos, Nigeria. 
he even went further and was talking about the hectares of land he has Tai Siwero University this and that i was just watching the message and was like where is the sensitivity he even did healing there today in Toto. hallelujah please can we clap for him <laughs> dr paul Onoto. may their healing be perfected in jesus name amen because here we like to keep everything on a balance but sir if you are watching this your members are watching it in the pastor every week and the evangelist in that same church why is your own man of god silent about it number one either he knew before because i've seen a viral video that was uploaded recently again where he was talking about the whole idea of marriage now this particular video itself is him talking about before you marry the kind of person you should marry and you can see that this is actually carefully and <laughs> god the media people those who have won the dunamite very smart but this is before you marry now the way you can understand marriage itself you have to be you need to have an experiential knowledge of it as i'm talking to you right now one i grew up in a home that to some extent was abusive until we grew up to self to some point and then things started to change so of course we agree i agree to the fact that there are homes that go through this kind of thing that husband and wife they quarrel some now married they take quarrel some now some they say they no go even beat you. I never hear of person where born in wife. He born him. He born. He born. In wife come back from Scotland. He born him. Why am I saying this? There are pastors. That's there's the story I'm yet to look at. Pastor where they beat in wife. He day that one day. So him not reacting or making a statement. I, I I have been on his Facebook page one day. I am looking like this. I am looking trying to find any post about this so that i'll say okay dr polynesia has reacted and this is what he had to say but oh guy you have kept quiet i hope this video pushes for that reaction because if you don't react then that means oga do you have a heart was she just one of the people in the system that you know makes the ministry move to the permanent side because she had a talent she had of course and the thing is you see her life i don't know if she had a real job herself you could tell me in the comments aside her singing and doing music her husband was a manager so he controls her not as if she has so when your husband yeah and let's look at this again think just think for a moment they say she has been going through this for five years when did she release a hit song that we all know of so if you now go deeper into this, I've heard some pastors open their vocal cavity and say that it is a cup of suffering. When I cannot do that, one that is not uh, scriptural for me to come and be, you know, fighting people and this and that. But don't when kaya buno we rule sometime when na pia madotare. You want to go? Maka Jesus also pia ande madotare on a temple. Ne Jesus wari dia. What I'm trying to make you understand right here is that it is very insensitive of the apex of the church himself to not make a commentary about this, even when many people have called him out to see what he had to say. Could this be an endorsement on the side of people that call themselves pastors and ministers that when women are going through abuse in marriages, or would I say not just women, even men too, when a marriage is abusive, 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 that they are encouraged to want depression and stay of course when it comes to the subject of scripture there's an account for divorce the only account that has been given okay sexually you know immoral if sexually morality like you know one it equal away game and then abandonment uh, hey, you get so there is no strict like say okay if your wife beat you based on scriptures uh, hey, leave leave the marriage or if your husband beat you but when it comes to things like this, if you looked at my reaction to what Father Loma said, one ne, certain certain form of uh, certain things kind of deaths are avoidable when it comes to situations like this. So if you're watching me, one ne, if you're in an abusive marriage, I know you're going to look at the the pros and the cons. If I leave this man now, my children, okay, let me wait for my children to grow up so that if I'm leaving, I know that my children are okay. That kind of thing. There are different ways to weigh this thing. Of course, if you look at her children, their children are much younger. I saw a news saying that even sometimes he ties her up and then tells the children to beat her. I'm like, whoa, is that, can that be true? So, of course, she has gone through things herself. Ah, yeah, God. And it's okay for people to ask why she's gone. 
because like i just said right now e wu nguru no ba ji abura go buru ya so people will ask question so that's why people now came up with the story that she had throat cancer so it will be as if from her sinking throat to eh go 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 e ga go but oga came to church and was preaching about faith faith in long suffering faith in please if you think i am joking one go and go to facebook and watch the whole message dia nyenye de ga ba kita wo snip bits so insensitive and everybody was dead i'm not saying you people should hold because of a woman but she was very very important and significant in that ministry if i'm not mistaken except you think she's just that means all of you that are watching me now that are dunamites dunamites all of you are just numbers and not members because she has been treated as a number the apex not reacting she is now looked as as a number not a member when they carry your family matter come out even i hear I, i was reading a news that due to financial whatever that um um she was the is it that the the family or the husband was given a contract or something that was worth 20 i don't know how to do things i've read a lot of things online as a commentator i can only talk about the things i see you and i right now we're not there with them physically in their relationship one now but for you to come back to nigeria and the first thing your first sunday your first sunday and you don't even address something like this maybe let me expect you to make a tweet or make an instagram post about this because i can nega anya okiri kan na ekiri gi makobu no mere if it does not happen then it will now make sense what people have termed church to be just a business parasata where you just gather people do miracle real or fake mo amara i'm not here to discuss those things one is what i understand that makes sense to me can na add the volume to Manobu no mere mo kwa premium dragon not like as if you other go ikiri kwa zie go for because you have to understand by their fruit ki ya mahana obu you have to know that is by their fruit you know them so i your message about uh, the kind of people you should marry the things you have to look at before you marry that you are preaching with your wife i think i should give you a colleague for that biko Uh-huh, because you preach very well yeah, but, but that is before you enter the marriage uno budget the marriage kwana how far do you encourage people to stay in abusive relationships because right now even though we don't have a stipulated directive for that in the bible i know truth itself is progressive we are there's different between <laughs> Nollywood and real wood. This is real wood. Okay, real life. Let's give me a let me give you an example. Remember this story we ran here on the channel. If you have not watched it, one or in a pinned comment. It was alleged that Apostle Johnson Suleiman, who wedded this man with his wife, and the man himself, Prophet uh, Chinonsu, on a pianwoke na pianwai. Mboda pianwai on a pianwoke. He married the woman because of cover. But he's actually a man naka allegedly based on what was reported the wife released an audio message talking about this the video is here if you think what i'm saying is a lie one they check i even <laughs> let me not say some insider information because i don't disclose personal conversations why am i saying this because when she herself reported the same situation to apostle johnson suleiman that wedded them together what did he say he used the word of god and used prophecy because arguing called bible prophet now that you should go back the husband is not a cult this and that if you don't marry him go and watch the video you will hear her herself so she was pushed back to go into the marriage only for her to let her run when the man was coming to church and saying that she's going to run mad this and that your own husband do because she got in there and discovered that he's staying in this home with boys ndona pianike and you think you think there are no pastors in Nigeria that are gays that are knocking yash well that is for ritualistic purpose or this and that one story now i'm going to bring you stories why i'm saying this is that apostle joseph Suleiman pushed her according to what she said but women are really going through a lot in the society that is not a no, no this one no capping men too but women to a great extent especially when it comes to the africanization 
of things don't be too religious about certain things and don't be too african about certain things because of course when it comes to the african you know the man is uh, last time our dear respected pet edoshe was talking about the reason why nollywood marriages are breaking because of the whole concept of submission and this and that and, and i understand they they have their secrets on how there are some women that just sit down and endure the kind of husbands they have but when you now guess of course your husband can be all kind of things but when it now gets to the form of abuse, when it affects you, your health, your person, one Japa, Japa. As I'm talking now, I never married. Tomorrow they pray, God, myself, even for ordinary hello hi this and that. <laughs> they go talk say George, why are you so soft? I say you get to why you one. There's some people. You see some people that are extremely gentle. They can be very worse on the other extreme but because they don't show you that it's not that they are weak they are gentle because of the fear of what they might become and that is why they always walk away but you cannot pray away you cannot fade away listen you oh god dr paul and you were preaching faith 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 kiji wero no ka faith the faith you want to take and be university faith 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 you have no akoi for no bear marriage faith you don't need faith when it comes to an abusive marriage you cannot pray away a a a a husband bitter some of them need therapy some of them need their brain to be formatted by maybe police or this and that or some of them need to some of them just needed to walk away from them to avoid yourself from being through that i'm telling you so man this is very very insensitive dr paul and nature this is the first time i'm talking about you and it's not a good no, no look at those i've talked about here all scandal here amenka 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 and you shouldn't have been quiet about it you are a leader people are looking up to you sir you have you went to Cameroon and you display whether it was real or fake i don't know camera people were joining from camera they were getting healed from home and they were showing you from the phone is this stage or not i don't know i don't know if i'm a but okay for the doctor paul initially it was very insensitive for you to preach on a sunday you came back in nigeria someone died two to three days ago you have been called out many times and you kept quiet about it and all you were preaching is faith one day all the time i was spending cutting my pepper and preparing my for my meal and watching you it was waste of time because i was expecting you to address it so that i would just give you a college and say okay this is what he had to say but you kept quiet even during announcement one day you did not even announce it all you were announcing is that okay you are going to have this particular service anointing service go what you go oh god even me as a blogger that some things that if i say i don't talk about my those who are following me will come and say hey you why are you not talking about this why are you not talking about this they have paid you they are this and that and i have to come out and explain to my audience and say this one the reason why i want to talk about amona because of this this and that because i have principles you are a leader you know try if you know talk see this kind of thing talk i wonder i wonder bye bye
Wouldn't you love me as you?